Hey there, internet. So this is my new spindle. I wanted to walk you through how I got this thing running. But first, let's, uh, let's turn it on. So I've got this uh, cheap uh, brushless motor controller set up. It's just set up on a potentiometer. And we spin this up. It's 300 hertz, 390 hertz, 400 hertz. It's it's real. Uh, there's like no vibration at all. Um, a little tiny bit. I think that's probably the more the motor controller than anything else. Over here, I've got a pull-up resistor from one of the hall leads. And if we look at the scope, we can see the frequency: 417, 415 hertz. And that is from a, one of the single phase of the hall sensor. Now, this, uh, this controller does not have a hall sensor feedback. Um, it would be ideal if I had the hall, the hall sensors hooked up to the controller. This is a sensorless uh, motor controller. It's weird. It, it, it kind of glitches on. I don't know why it tries to turn on when the potentiometer is off. All right, so so now I've got the power off. So here's the uh, here's the connector that it came with. In the in the way the manual is set up, it says it should actually have a round connector. And um, the first thing I observed is you you can tell which wires are are thicker, right? And it, kind of logic would dictate that those are the the wires that actually go to the the different phases of the um, spindle. Now this green wire didn't have any didn't measure any connectivity to the other wires. The resistance between the fat wires here uh, was 0.6 ohms all the way around and uh, this motor is rated for 200 watts. Now the the initial test that I did, I just hooked it up without anything else to the to the controller. I ran it at 12 volts. It ran uh, okay, and then I bumped it up to 24 volts. And I think it draws um, I don't know, it draws like four or five watts uh, at full RPM with no load. What I did here was um, uh, this is the connector for the motor controller. So these are the three fat wires that I snipped off of the other controller. When I snipped off the connector and stripped back the wire a little bit more, you can see that this green wire has been bonded to the shielding for the small wires. So the fat wires don't have any shielding. The, uh, the green wire did have shielding. And as I measured the, uh, the resistance between the wires, what I found was that this, this purple wire here had four mega ohms of resistance to ground. And then the other three wires had 2.2K resistance to ground. So when I, I, I actually didn't have this resistor in here when I first tested it. And so what I did is I connected this to my, my multimeter, my desktop multimeter between uh, one of these wires and the ground wire. And then when I, when I would change the position, I put a little mark on here. So when I changed this position, I saw like a very small voltage change. It was like 0 0.01 volts uh, after I energized the, uh, the VCC. And um, so I wasn't really sure how to test if it needed a pull up or a pull down. I assumed that it would need a pull up because the, it was floating close to, to zero volts. So what I initially did is I put in a 100K resistor here and I checked it on the scope and I saw a pretty clear square wave when I, when I turned the spindle. And then I put, I think this is a, a 5K resistor. So I put this in here and I got a real nice clean signal. So the way the wiring on this works is perp, the small purple wire is VCC. Uh, I'm just clamping to these uh, shielding wires here for ground, but they're all, they're all bonded together. So the purple wire here is uh, VCC. The green wire, which I think is all bonded together, although I haven't actually checked it, is ground. The other three wires, the green, the gray, and the white, are the three phases of the hall sensor. And it needs some kind of a pull-up resistor to get the signal to something else like a microcontroller. 
the color coding for the motor phase wires is black, orange, and uh, red here. So if you happen to have one of these things, which is, so the motor is an EM25N5000. And uh, the one thing I'm not super sure of is the air connection here. It, it says in the manual for this that the air connection is for motor cooling and for purging. So my assumption is, is that it's not an air bearing in here, although 50,000 RPM is quite a lot. But uh, it, it might not be an air bearing. So, so the next thing to do is to uh, get everything wired up and, and mount the spindle and see how much torque uh, I can deliver with the spindle. Uh, I'm, a, I'm, I'm a bit hesitant to try it with this sensorless control board here um, because it doesn't have any hall feedback. And uh, number one, the torque it generates shouldn't be all that great. And number two, the, um, if it stalls out, uh, there's a possibility that I could burn the motor up. So I may actually order a sensor, uh, a sensor control board, and then uh, take the hall signals, signals and feed that in there before I before I do the next step. But if you uh, if you were wondering how the the wiring on this works, uh, Google didn't help me, so hopefully this helps you. If you have any questions, uh, leave them down below. And thanks for watching.